Hello everyone and welcome to Idiotic Ultimara's Memoria Tutorial. This is the first real episode. The last episode was just a showcase of how to install um, the game, where to go to install the game, um, showcasing the wiki and uh, giving you a brief description of Memoria. This time around we are in the game. This is the first screen you will get when you open up Nemoria. Um And you won't have this load game. You will have new game, options or exit. Options shows you a couple of things. You can have it windowed or full screen. I always have it windowed at 1280 by 720. You can change the audio. I normally have it on but I forgot to do that. I always have it muted when I'm not playing it for let's plays or tutorials and here you can see all the controls and you can change them. Uh, we'll go through the controls later, well in this episode actually. So, <coughs> first thing you do is create a new game. This is where your kingdom is created. Um, your kingdom name can be randomized, you just click randomize name and it will come out with random names. Uh, or you can change it to say idiotic Ultimara. But we're going to go for a randomized name. So the land of stupidities. So appropriate to me. The <coughs> kingdom size is how big your map is going to be. Uh, the smaller the map, there isn't much, uh, like, there isn't any disadvantages of having a smaller map. You get less of everything but you're expected to be able to deal with having less of everything. Th probably the biggest disadvantage of a tiny map is the amount of space you'll have to build say farms or pastures or the amount uh, minerals you can mine and stuff like that. Like if you g start getting too many gnomes uh, they might over overrun your map. Uh, and a huge map is bigger. Just, I think it's like 600 by 600 or something stupid like that. Uh, I don't know the complete uh, dimensions of each of them. Anyway, the smaller the map, the less likely it is to lag. The bigger the map, the more likely it is to lag. I normally go for standard ever since my let's play. Uh, so yeah, standard map is normally the like standard to tiny is probably what you should do until the game gets fixed a bit more. The kingdom seed is just the seed of the kingdom you are going to go into. There are some seeds on the forums just now that you can try out uh, and that is stuff that people, other people have played on and you can see their seed. Anyway, let us um, generate the map and I shall pause it and come back when it is done. Okay, here we are with Memoria. This is the main screen that you will get. You will start off uh, this may you'll start off right in front of your gnomes that you have. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five. I think there's other ones on other levels as you can see. Um, first thing we will I will show you is how to move around the map and how to navigate. Um, so first things first, you navigate or do anything in this map with your mouse. You can almost go through this whole game without using your keyboard at all. Uh, there are certain things you'll need to use your keyboard for, but the majority of the time it is with your mouse. To move or pan around the map, you either click and hold the right or left mouse button. I normally do the right hand side. So if you click and hold it will move the map around. As you can see this is the map that we have been put into. It looks very fill. It looks like a valley kind of map. So there is our map. If we use the mouse wheel uh, and on the map it will scroll between levels or depths. Um, here we are at depth 3, depth 4, depth 5, depth 6. Uh, depth 6 or lower and lower. Uh, the depth is how high you are 
or how low you are from ground level. This is ground level here. Um, what else is there? If you do control mouse wheel in or out, it will zoom the, ma uh, the map in or out. This took me a long time to figure out myself. Other things we can um, do. Um, yeah. So, what else is there? There is the, the um, these little things on the sides, the left hand and right hand corners. The left hand corner shows you the depth, how much food you have in stock and how much drink you have in stock. You should try and always keep an eye on these two, the food and drink, because once they start getting too low, you really want to concentrate on getting more food or more drink, depending on what you're needing. On the right hand side, you have the date, so the first day of spring. There is 12 days in each season, and there's four seasons, uh, spring, summer, winter, uh, uh, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Uh, this tells you the year, year one. <coughs> Most people don't actually go past year two uh, because of the crashes at the moment. They will be fixed. There is going to be a lot of um, bug fixes in the future. And this will tell, this shows you the time. Sunrise at 7.23 in the morning. Here you can either pause the game, play or fast forward. The gameplay goes per minute, but it does go quite fast per minute. See, uh, you can see how fast it's going. Uh, the tabs are the kingdom. It shows you the general overview of your kingdom's worth, how many gnomes you have, and other things like that. We'll go through all these uh, tabs later on in another series, in another episode. Stocks just show you how much you have off each item. Population, you can assign uh, gnomes professions. You can see what gnomes you have. You can click on your gnomes and stuff like that through there. Military, you can assign new military and uh, equipment for your military gnomes and events shows you whatever events have happened recently. Uh, another thing I need to show is how to navigate the job menu. Uh, the job menu is click, you right click once and this will show you, um, th this will bring up this map. Here you can go navigate this map just by using the mouse as you would normally. Terrain and then it's all um, done by tab tabs and drop down menus. So terrain is your mining, your digging, uh, so what your miner would do. Your agriculture is felling trees, planting trees, your pasture, your foraging or collecting plants, your farming. Building is anything that you can actually physically build onto the map. Uh, designing area is anything that needs to be designated. Normally these are things like the stockpile, personal quarters, the dorms, the dining rooms, the guard areas and the patrol. Deconstruct just deconstructs any building that you have previously built. Remove designation or remove any of the designated areas that you have placed and cancel job will cancel any jobs that are ongoing or currently being done. Uh, other things we can learn are if you left click on anything it will show you the description of what's on that tile. As you can see that's an apple tree. Just nothing on there. Nothing hidden. Uh, click here and it will show you the gnomes. You have a uh, jork, the woodcutter, Nick the rancher and an oak tree. Uh, so that's the navigation of the um, of the Moria, how you would move around the map, and how you use the uh, user interface. Lastly, I wanted to I want to sh go through um, Robo Bob's future plans for this game. They're more like things that he likes to sound off. They aren't a guaranteed this will happen. It's just a maybe this will happen. He doesn't want to make any promises just yet because if he does make promises and he cannot do them, then people will get annoyed. So the first, the things he wants to do are things like he wants more development on gnomes. He wants to increase the 
micromanagement that you can do with gnomes, increase how you do deal with happiness and stuff. He wants to add more buildings, like more workshops, more furniture, and more of everything. Uh, but they have to be usable and be make sense in the world of a gnome. He wants to make combat a lot more efficient. He wants to introduce more weapons and more armor. Like there's very basic things at the moment. Uh, and he also wants to make the UI more sleek and more easy to use. So yeah, um, in this episode we have discussed how to use the UI, how to navigate the map, uh, and just basic things like what you see here, uh, and yeah, um, in the next, in the next, uh, in the next episode we will be going over the skills of the every single skill of the gnomes. Uh, if you click on gnomes, if you click on population, click on status, click on a name, any name, it doesn't matter, and then click on skills, we will be going through each and every single one of these, explaining what they are used for and the advantages and disadvantages of each being increased. Uh, yeah. So I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you all got a little bit of insight on what there is to what the game is well how to use the game and i hope it all helps i will see you all later have fun and goodbye